Yeah, welcome my peers. Today we are going to talk about indirect proportion. And first, I have given the definition of indirect proportion. We are told when one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases. We have examples here to work out. I want us to take you through. One man takes two days to dig a piece of land. How long would two men take? So here, we write man or man is there, days are there. So we are told one man there, so it is one, takes two days to dig a piece of land. How long would two men take? First, we normally give this work to one person. One man will take one times two. So one man can take two days to complete that work. Or the amount of work is equivalent to two days. If they are two, the total work to be done can take two days. If they are two men, now it is two days divided by two. By two, one, by two, one. So I get the take one day. So example number two. One bar of maize is eaten by 300 children in eight days. One bar of maize is eaten by 300 children in eight days. How many days would such, uh, such bar of maize last if eaten by 400 children? So we have the children there. And we have the days. We are told 300 children are uh, uh, one day, um, one bag of maize is eaten by 300 children in 80 days. So they have 80 days. Now the question asks. Mm -hmm. How many days would such a bag of maize last if eaten by 400 children? The number here has increased, now it is 400. So I just give this amount of food to one child. One child will take 300 days, 300 children, the amount taken per day times eight. So, one person or one child can take this number of days. What about if they are 400? So, I divide this one by 400. Cancel, cancel. By 4, 1, by 4, 2. So, I get it can take 6 days. If they are 400 children, they can take uh, that bar for 6 days. Example three. Eight people, eight people paint a house in twelve days. How many people are needed to paint the house in six days? So we have the people there on one side, and we have the days there. Eight people, the eight, mm -hmm, can take twelve days to paint the house. How many? people are needed to paint the house in six days. So six is there. We give this work to one person. One person can take eight times twelve. Whatever you get there will be number of days. Now this person is not around. They are six. So you divide the amount of work by six. By six one, by six two. So you get that is sixteen. So meaning 16 people can take 6 days to paint that house. When they are 8, they can take 12 days. And that is why we are told here, when you increase one item, the other one decreases. When you increase this one, they become 16. The number of days reduces. They become 6. Example 4. We are told, 9, nine people can complete 
a piece of work in that six days. If three people did not turn up, how many more days, the keyword there, more, more days would the remaining people take to complete the work? Number of days, days are there, 36. If three people did not turn up, three people did not turn up, so it is 9 minus 3, I get 6. Did not turn up. How many more days would the many people take to complete the work? So I can here yeah, give this work to one person. Initially it was planned. Uh, nine men to be hired and to take that six days. So I take nine times that six. I get that is that six times nine. I get uh, 54, carry five, 27 plus uh, five, I get that two. So this is the amount of work or the number of days. I divide by six or I take nine times that six divided by six because now they are that six. By six, one, by six, six. I get that is 54. So meaning when the number of men reduces and becomes a six, the number of days increases. The keyword here, how many more? Initially the work was planned to take that six, Days, but now has taken 54. So it is 54 minus 36. I get 14, 8. That is 1. So the work took 18 more days to be completed. Example 5. Example 5. You are told six men working for eight hours a day can paint a building. 12 days. So we write, we are given the number of men, hours, and days. So we have men, we have hours, and days. So six men working for eight hours, six, eight, 12 days. Mm -hmm. How many? How many more days? Will it take four men, four men working for eight hours, the number of hours remain, to, uh, to complete the painting? This is our sum. If you check here, the number of hours are the same. So we normally ignore you know the number of hours because it is the same. We take the number of men and the number of days. I give this work to one person. One person will take the number of men times number of days, 12. From there, this, this man now is not alone. They are working for them, so they are four. I define the amount of work by four. By four, one, by four, three. I get that is 18. So, they will take 18. I go back to the question. I go back to the question. How many more? How many more days will it take for men? So meaning the question asks how many more more days? So it is 18. Whatever you have got, take a it off. I get six more days. That is our answer. Thank you.